What's up everyone? So my last development video was about how to make a basic combat system. Let me just showcase it right now. So it spawns a hitbox, it plays animation, sound effects. So now I'm going to be showing you how to make VFX for your uh, for your combat system. So this is a VFX I got from the toolbox. You can ask a VFX artist to make you one. You can get one from the toolbox or you can make one of your own. So I'm going to be showing you how to make one of your own for now. And how to get it in your script, how to get it how to make it spawn once you attack the player. So let's start. First thing you need to do is I'm just gonna delete this. I just did this for a test. Home, top, go to part and click on block. And it should spawn in a random block here. Go to explorer and properties, scroll down to size and just change it to one, one, one. And it will make it really small. Then just lower the transparency. I'm just going to make it 0.7 so you can sort of see it. And that's actually make your VFX. You need an attachment. So press on the plus on the part. Click on attachment. And then add a particle emitter. And it should make it sort of like this. Let me just make, uh, put the part a little up. Yes. Make sure to save and clear. Um, now go to texture in the particle emitter and just put in any any texture you want. I'm just going to put it on a random one I found. And it will make it like this. If you wonder how to get a texture, just go on the toolbox. Uh, right next to part, just enable the toolbox. And you should see a models option here. Just change, click on that and change it to images. And just uh, search on anything you want, particle effects. Make sure you choose one without a background. Um, so like this is not a good particle effect one. This would be good. This is good. This is good. So yeah, just choose any of which over here. Right click. And copy asset ID and just paste in the texture. You can make experiment on your own. So this is my texture. Now light emission, change it to one. So it's really bright and makes it, it gives it sort of a glow. Light influence will be zero. And since we made the light influence like zero, there will be a brightness option right here. Just change it to 12. You can go down and here you'll get more options like rate, rotation, rotation, speed and speed, spread angle. So, uh, speed, just change it to 5, to 5. So, make it go faster like this. So, spread angle, you can change it to anything. Just experiment as much as possible. Uh, so, I'm just going to do 360, 360. And it will become like this. Like, it will just fly all over the place. Uh, lifetime, you can change it to 0, 6, 0. Here in lifetime, it's basically lifetime is basically like how far it goes. So at a certain point of time, it will just disappear. If I put it uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, then it'll go like this. Um, basically now drag. I'm just gonna put it to two. So what drag basically means is how far the particles can go away from its source. So two, it will be like this. Oh god, what happened? Two makes it like this. If I put it to five, it will be like this. It will look like this. If I put it to one, it will just go really far. You can also adjust the rate as much as you want. If you make it really fast, it will go like this. Uh, max is 100. Now go up and you'll see size. So size, yeah, this is this is basically just sums how big your particles will be. You can make it like this. This is 4. 1 will look like this. And 0.5 will look like this. It just looks like uh, tiny little beams shooting everywhere. 
If you click here, you might see three dots next to the size value. If you click on these three dots, you will get this scene. It's called number value or number graph. Basically, this controls the size in different parts of the um, particle effect. So if you put this up, it will be really big. If you would make it small, it will be really small. Uh, so I'm just going to close it right now. Squash, it basically just squishes the particle. So you can give it negative values as well, and it will make it like this. If I put 9, it will look like this. That's a bit too big. You can also add a number uh, sequence for this as well. You can adjust the value like here. If you want to change the color, you can too. Just go here underneath brightness color. You can make it red. Uh, this looks pink. If you're wondering why the red looks kind of pink, uh, it's probably because we made the brightness so high, so it's looking a bit pink. You can make it yellow, uh, green, blue, purple. And I think I can make the part fully invisible now. So just make it one and it will be fully invisible. And we'll just name the part whatever you want. Um, I'll name it, uh, let's just call this hit VFX. Now basically what we need to do, we need to put in replicated storage. So just go, so yeah, it just disappears. Well, basically our hit particle, particle effects are like, um, ah, when we hit, we want the particles to show. We don't want them to be in there by default. So we'll just put this in server storage. If you want, you can create a folder called VFX. Let me just name it VFX. And we'll put the hit, hit effects in there. Okay, now let's get into the actual scripting part of our VFX. Okay, so basically underneath line 24, we're going to do local, local hit VFX is equal to game replicated okay wait a minute game dot replicated storage dot vfx folder uh, dot our folder so in replicated storage we have a folder we're getting that square brackets quotation marks and our hit uh, hit effects name so mine is called hit effects yours can be named whatever you want so dot attachment cl clone so basically what we're doing here is we're defining something called hit effects and we're and this hit effect is equal to game replicated storage that we're getting the replicated storage service inside the service we have a folder called vfx inside that folder we're getting hit effects which is actually vfx and we're taking the attachment of this VFX. So right here we have an attachment. And we're cloning it. This is basically a clone of our attachment that's inside our hit of X. We're underneath this line on line 27. We're going to do hit VFX dot parent is equal to do hit dot dot parent find first child humanoid root part basically what we're seeing is we're putting our heavy effects inside the humanoid root part um basically what the humanoid root part of a player is every player has a humanoid and a humanoid root part every player that spawns in or every model. So basically what we're doing is we're getting the humanoid root part and putting it inside here. The humanoid root part is basically the root of the hu of the player or the model. 
It's like it's this small tiny dot in here. So we're we're putting our VFX inside that. Now we're basically gonna check if this attachment has a particle emitter. So to do that we're just gonna say for I comma V in pairs. We're going to do hit hey VFX get children do so if V it is a particle emitter particle emitter then now what we're going to do is we're going to do V emit inside parentheses V get attribute emit count so we're getting the emit count basically we're going to go out of this for loop basically we're going to go out of this and just do game dot debris dot add oh, add item let's just do hit vfx 2 so we're adding this to the game now so now we're adding this to the game if you face any issues or have any questions just put them in the comments or join my discord server i will definitely respond now um let's test to see if it works now let's go here and q oh wait a minute yes it's playing now so it plays for a few seconds if you want it to be shorter or longer like right now if you want it to be shorter or longer just go to just go to where you're adding the vfx on line 35 and just change the value over here so if you make it one it will be like this if you make it two it will stay for a little longer okay so that's how to make vfx on roblox studio see you in the next video